YouTube, what's up, man? Gameplays, 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 gameplays. I know you guys want to watch me play the game, especially against other good players, and that's what we get here as I get to play D. Croft, man. If you guys have been paying attention to Madden the last year or so, D. Croft is the guy that always stop and go and make people look stupid in the open field. So you got to know that going into a game versus him. I mean, you guys can watch these games live if you, you know, you want to. Twitch.tv slash dub that. If not, I'm going to keep putting out these gameplay videos. Short ones. Try to edit them down to 10 minutes so you guys get to see all the action really quick. And he went through a bunch of different uh, defenses this game. Really mixed it up well. Um, if all my offense, my defense, all, both ebooks are out. So I don't even know if you guys have Madden 20 yet. But if you do, both ebooks are out to get my offense and my defense. It's a madturf.com. You guys can check it out uh, and improve your game. The way they're giving out rewards on Mutt Head to Head is crazy. Um, I, I spent money, obviously, but I definitely have a lot of good cards in this game. As we go up top for the wheel route, Odell Beckham holds his feet in bounds right there for me. The, the sideline catches has been really improved this year. Your wide receivers kind of know where the sideline is, and they'll slow down if they get to the sideline to try to get those feet in bounds. You see Odell doing that for me right there, trying to pound the ball in. Saquon Barkley tackled by Khalil Mack. Next play, we're going to go a little RPO over top to Julio Jones. Makes the catch, gets into the end zone. 7 nothing. That was a pretty easy drive. Feeling good going up 7 nothing. Uh, anytime you're playing anybody, honestly. So when you get the ball first, you want to make sure you get that 7 put on the board. Helps your defense, man. And Madden offense works off of defense, and defense works off of offense. Uh, I'm starting real quick with a little zero pressure. I uh, got to see what he got. I don't know this formation that well, and he hits me with the wheel route. First drive, I think Ken Houston could get there, but he didn't get there. Odell Beckham killed Mel Blunt. That's a wheel route. You know, and sometimes you don't know what your opponent plays have, what playbook or what formation have what plays. I mean, they got to show you, and he showed me that early. Uh, one of my goals is not going to be by the wheel route again, and if I am, I'm going to bring a little bit more pressure. I mean, I blitz seven people that play. It might have to be eight people the next time we're on defense, but it gives us a chance to get right back on offense. Keep moving. Keep filling them out, man. The more plays you get against his defense, the more you realize what he likes to do. Going a little cover one. Almost got Tyreek Hill up out of there. Uh, I think my Tyreek Hill has 91 speed, which is super fast early in the game. Dumping it off here to Tyreek, getting a couple yards. That's key when you're playing mad, man. You got to take what's there, third and seven. Even though this is probably not going to give me the first down, I still want to take that flat. That way it makes fourth down super manageable. Fourth and two, he double flats both sides, but I have the hitch playmakered up. Odell making a play. Making Earl Thomas miss, taking the ball to his 37-yard line, end of the first quarter. So we're playing good offense right now. Will route the Barkley, bounces off his face. And Saquon Barkley, I guess, doesn't have good hands, but I think they're pretty good. Vertical route, Julio, make a miss one time and take it to the Baja. Julio Jones, 14-7, to take the lead. So man, he's only ran two plays on offense. I've run probably 12, but it's 14-7 right where we're supposed to be. Uh, so we'll see. I know he has the wheel route, so I didn't like how he had so much time. And he's in this formation where you can max protect, block seven people, a tight end on one side, running back on the other. So it's going to give him maximus, or maximum protection. Max protect. So I send an extra person here, but I got too cute on the back end. He just puts a streak and burns me. So it's been three plays, and he has 14 points. But, you know, sometimes you... Sometimes you can't play super aggressive, and, and if you guys watch me play, I, I definitely play super aggressive early on in Madden this year. People are just people are filling out their offenses; they don't know what to go to. So I've been playing super aggressive, and sometimes it really, really kills you. And like I said, I've given up 14 points on three plays, not working that well. But hopefully, to come back around, I'll get some turnovers. I'm 12 for 14 on offense, feeling good about that. I need to back them. Uh, the hit sticks are crazy this year. I play on conservative. If you guys are watching, a lot of my passes go to the sideline. But right here, Earl Thomas hits Marvin Harrison on conservative. It wasn't the middle of the field. It is Earl Thomas. Uh, but pissed I fumbled on conservative there. So the next play, Rage Boost. As you see, eight people coming after the quarterback. Make them make a read early. Next play, we play back a little bit. As you see, uh, Ken Houston coming down, making the tackle. Ken Houston and Mel Blunt is safety. Really are just dominating you know players six three both can hit both fast uh so I, I would suggest targeting those players when you first get the team ken houston ml blunt bobby wagner this fourth down almost holds him behind the sticks but he gets the first down khalil mack is not having that run i have khalil mack and von miller outside linebacker they definitely apply a lot of pressure once again ken houston making that tackle right there 
Got to tackle him in open field. That's the key when you're playing D. Croft. Make them tackles in open field. And Shazier just bags this wheel route to Saquon Barkley right there. Absolutely smothered. Makes the play. Gets my turnover back. It's time to go down the field, get some points. Marvin Harrison. Got to go right back to him. 15 for 17, 192 yards. Just really taking what the defense gives me. I tries to step up and hit the wheel route there, but I'm sacked by Von Miller. He calls timeout for me. Go back to the same plays. Run a little man coverage. So we're going to go over here, hit Marvin Harrison. Take that hit from Patrick Peterson. 30 seconds left. One timeout. Try to get in field goal range at least. Whip route right here. Odell Beckham. Get out of bounds. Save my timeout. I'm on a 41-yard line. One timeout. Uh, I get greedy here. I have the touchdown, but just don't have my feet set. And I get picked off. I mean, Mahomes just do that. I mean, he threw it like he was running. And that's how quarterbacks should do. I mean, you, I know you guys are used to playing Michael Vick and Lamar Jackson, who makes that throw easily. But in this game, early in the year, your quarterbacks aren't going to make those ridiculous on-the-run throws. And Mahomes let me down right there, as he should have. That was a tough throw. Bad decision, especially creeping in on field goal range to take a three-point lead. Tie game. So let's see what we got. Let's see if we can make some plays on defense. I feel like he's haven't run many plays. But I'm going to just switch it up a little bit. You know, just switch up my defense a lot. Not just send seven. And we send eight first play. He hits a little dot under here to Odell Beckham. Tackled right there by Jalen Ramsey. So here we go. Now we're only sending five. And we actually get some pressure. We cover everything up. Aaron Donald makes the play right there. Get him to a 39. Once again, only sending five. Throws underneath him. Patrick Peterson drops a book. That could have been a pick six, too, with Pat Pete. But, you know, he let me down. That's one thing I noticed early in the year, man. A lot more drop picks this year than in the past. Uh, I, I felt like the last couple of years they really fixed that up. Like I said, there's the corner route. Boom. Sideline catches are really good. 18 for 21. This time I'm getting tunnel vision again on that streak to Tyreek Hill up the middle of the field. Really getting tunnel vision. Trying to get a one-play touchdown. As you said, I have 18 completions. There's no reason to play like that. Uh, next play, super bagged. Actually, go for the post route over the top, but that's Jonathan Jones from the New England Patriots bagging Odell Beckham. Here we go again. I'm going to tunnel vision, trying to streak Tyreek Hill down the middle, and Von Miller is not having any of that as he sacks the quarterback. I had to punt. Fourth and 20, you're not going to go for that. Got to get a better punt here. Only punted to the 24-yard line. Really terrible uh, special teams. I pride myself in special teams. Goes for this post route. As you see in the below the screen, pressure inaccurate. Von Miller, Aaron Donald, those guys getting after the quarterback. Applying that pressure for the over, though. Get him to a third down. Sending five at him. Great defense here. And Aaron Donald gets to the quarterback. That's the thing. When you know, when your opponent knows you can send the crib and they block everybody and you drop off into a soft zone, definitely going to be hard for them to find somebody open. And that's what happened on that third down. Got to get some points here, though. I had the ball I'd do a pick. Then I got stopped on, stopped on downs. Got to make a play here. Tyreek Hill holds the sideline and then takes it to the Baja after his defender dives out of bounds. That's what I mean about the sideline. Your wide receivers are very aware where that sideline is. If you do a corner route late, they're going to they're gonna stand at the sideline and catch it on the sideline. So it's definitely a lot more forgiving as far as timing is, throwing, ball, throwing passes towards the sideline. As you see in previous Maddens, that might have been a drag out of bounds. But Tyreek Hill definitely held his feet and held the sideline for me. A little bit more zone coverage. This time, my defenders almost get a sack, but trip over each other. Keenan Allen over the middle. Then we're going to send an eight at him again. Goes up top to Jalen Ramsey side. Oh, I need a pick right there. Anytime I get behind a wide receiver like that, I definitely go for an interception. Getting some pressure again. He actually throws it underneath to Beckham. Makes a play. Oh, man, I'm sick about that drag. A lot of times when you're lurking, it's hard to guard a drag because you know there's going to be a post. There's going to be something... Deeper down the field that you have to guard, but I should have guarded the drag there. Wasn't going to get a lot of pressure, but he's getting the ball off. He's throwing these flat routes. He's, he's hitting, taking what's there. Von Miller gets to him right there. We sent six right there, dropped into a little bit of a zone. Fourth down, and he, I swear he just closed his eyes and threw that pass right there. Uh, that was the same pass that Patrick Peterson should have picked off in the first half, but didn't there. Von Miller, an absolute demon. That's the 92 overall Von Miller. Is a monster. He goes up top. Mel Blunt's going to get mossed into the end zone from Keenan Allen. Jeez. That's rough. I, I felt like it was a it was a one-on-one -on -one 50 50 ball, so I went for the pick. I think uh, if I swat that, we knock that down fairly easily. But when you see opportunity, you're up seven. I could I thought that pick could have ended the game, so I went for it. Just take back to taking what was there, man. I got stopped the last couple drives looking down the field too much. I'm looking for that streak too much, and I 
I know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but that's when I get in trouble. When I get tunnel vision on the big play, gotta take what's underneath here, and we go for another big play. Marvin Harrison. Ooh, if I had Bazooka activated there, I would have had a touchdown. But just Mahomes couldn't get rid of the ball fast enough or far enough. But this time, he does throw it far enough. Go with the bullet pass. Touchdown, Tyreek Hill. Run the sideline. Trying to take another three seconds off the clock. Boom. Back up seven. All we got to do is hold him here. No big plays. Uh, nothing cute. Uh, don't do too much on defense. But go win the game on defense. That's what it's about, man. That's you Win the game on defense. You set the tone on defense. That's what we're going to try to do. So the first play we send everybody. Hits this little curl, and we miss a hit stick on Tyreek Hill. Anytime you miss a hit stick on Tyreek Hill, bad things happen. Turns of 12-yard play into probably a 60-yard play. Next play goes in the flats. Get a couple of yards. Then this play right here, my, my defense was all over the place. Wasn't set up. Get hit with a corner route. Boom, Keenan Allen. And he's right inside the 10-yard line. Next play, go power roll, Saquon Barkley. Right into the end zone. I swear that drive took about 20 seconds. He's done. Uh, so now I'm going to go back down the field. There, I, That's what I mean about the corner routes. Able to tap their toes, get inbounds. Fourth, er, fourth quarter, got to go on the drive. I had Bazooka activated. So we got to make a big play. Somebody has to step up. Get things done for me. Go to the corner route. Throw it a little late. And Ramsey swats it. Probably could have picked. I don't know if they got stuck in the animation. But then next play, you know how it works. When you could have thrown a pick, next play you hit a dot. Marvin Harrison, GG's. That's going to end the game. Uh, but what I do here is I do run to the middle of the field. Real football because I know this field goal is going to be iced. So I run to the middle of the field because uh, I don't want to have to change the, uh, the directional bar on the field goal. I want to go ahead and just uh, kick this field goal straight up. But ice field goal, the one thing about ice field goal, I'll tell you guys, man, they're really not that hard. You just can't can't let it get into your mind. We kick so many uh, field goals, so many kickoffs, this timing. We should be able to do this in our sleep. Just hold it there so it can't block it. And all money right down the middle of the field goal post. GG's in the chat. 31-28. Great game, man. He played great offense. Really had me switching it up. Uh, Patrick Mahomes came through in the end for me. Hit that like button, subscribe. You can watch these games, twitch.tv slash dub dot.